often referred to by other names, death doula, end of life coach, funeral guide, end of life planner, death and dying guide, and thanadula, a linguistic combination of thanatology and doula. Thanatology is the scientific study of death and the losses brought on as a result. Hi everybody, I'm Ebony. Today I'm gonna tell you all about death doulas like me. I thought the best way to give you a really rich understanding of what death doulas are, are to answer my most frequently asked questions. Number one, what's a doula? Traditionally, a doula is someone who provides support and guides someone through pregnancy and labor. The word itself is Greek in origin, doule, and literally translates to a woman servant or slave. In more recent times, the word doula has been extended to describe someone who supports individuals and families during periods of life transitions in varying ways, birth, postpartum, grief, gender transition, and death, just to name a few. Doulas are filling the voids that we have in our society, areas where people are craving more support and helping people with the hard and scary life stuff. Number two, what is a death doula? A death doula is an individual who makes him or herself available to an individual who is dying and in most cases also their families before, during, and even after death occurs. The support a death doula offers often focuses on the emotional, psychological, and spiritual side of dying, as well as some more practical things. It is not a medical role but a death doula will usually work alongside someone's medical team to help make their death as comfortable as possible. Number three, what do death doulas do? The International End of Life Doula Association says death doulas help restore sacredness to dying, provide respite to exhausted caregivers, bring deep meaning to the dying experience, and prepare people for the last breaths of their loved ones. While End of Life Doula UK uses the term a friend in death to describe what being a death doula is all about, death doula duties can vary according to the needs of whoever they are supporting at the time. A death doula might focus on practical tasks such as planning, dog walking, shopping, so that the people who are close to them can focus on spending quality time with them. Death doulas might help with the rites and rituals around a person's death, such as making sure correct cultural or religious observances are followed as they are dying and that their body is treated appropriately after death. A big part of a death doula's role it's one of my personal favorite roles and what I consider to be probably the most important can be to listen to the person who is dying and those close to them offering non-judgmental, emotional and spiritual support. This might include supporting meaningful end of life discussions around wishes and plans as well as being someone to talk to. The services we death doulas provide are as varied as we are. They are a result of our different levels of education, experience, skills, and passions. For example, I focus on end of life planning, caregiver resources, and death education. Occasionally, I will take a personal client and perform the sacred honor that is bedside vigil. My services are a result of my 20 plus years of caregiving experience, my many years as a CNA and medication aide, and then as a hospice nurse, as well as my passion for creating peaceful end of life experiences. I am also a certified end of life doula. Number four, 
why would you want to hire a death doula? How someone experiences end of life has huge significance, both for them and for those close to them. When someone feels supported, pain-free, and able to express any final wishes or worries at the end of life, this can bring peace to the dying process. For the people around them, this can bring comfort and may help with their grief. When someone doesn't get the right support at the end of their life, it can be very distressing for them and for the people that they leave behind. In some cases, causing complicated or complex grief that can last a lifetime. More and more people every year are discovering death doulas and finding that death doulas offer an extra element of support, which means they're more likely to have a more positive end of life experience than if they would not have hired a death doula. Number five, how do we help an individual? A death doula often provides the profound gift of knowledge. Having access to someone who has experience around the dying process is invaluable. Some death doulas provide the enormous benefit of companionship, holding a person's hand who is actively dying, actively listening, conversing and attempting to answer questions or concerns, watching television together, reading a book to them out loud, creating legacy projects, discussing end of life wishes and assisting with compiling the appropriate documents, helping the dying individual resolve issues, process their regrets and lingering feelings of guilt or shame and find peace about real or imagined fears and wrongs. Number six, how do death doulas help the family? A death doula provides the gift of continuity across the dying process before, during, and after a death occurs. Among many things, this might comprise of performing various basic tasks that a caregiver or home health aide might perform, providing respite care or staying with a dying person while family members are away facilitating supportive communication and or conversations between all parties, assisting in the creation of meaningful goodbyes during the last hours of life, helping the family to bathe and dress the deceased, and serving as a resource for funeral and estate planning. Number seven, what is the difference between death doulas and hospice? The biggest difference between hospice and death doulas is that hospice is responsible for the medical plan of care of the patient. And death doulas are a non-medical supportive role. These two are opposites in terms of managing care for the individual and the family during end of life, but they complement each other perfectly. As a hospice nurse, I was restricted by the clearly defined roles within the scope of practice of nursing. But as a death doula, I have much more freedom and I can provide some of the services that I saw missing while in nursing, namely the emotional and spiritual support at end of life. Hospice leads the medical care. Death doulas reinforce the plan of care defined by hospice while supporting the individual and typically the family. In a more death positive or at least less fearful society, utilizing both hospice and death doulas will be common practice. So don't think hospice or doula, it's hospice and doula. Number eight, why do I call myself a sunset doula? Sunset doula most accurately describes the services that I provide. Because of my 20 plus years of experience in the field of direct patient care and my nursing skill set, 
I am able to support people and families across both the aging and dying space. I often start working with clients or caregivers at a turning point in their lives or health when they are starting to need just a little help or support, resources, education, or planning. Number nine, how do I find a death doula? We are literally everywhere. Find us online by Googling death doulas in my area, or you can insert any of the names that we spoke about previously, death midwife, end of life doula, death coach, death guide. This is often a good starting point or you can enter any of those names into any social media platform. You can find death doulas that way as well, or you can go to any of the following websites. They all have directories to help you find death doulas in your area. I will link them in the description below. If you wanna work with me, you can go to my link tree on the banner of my channel's homepage and schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. In conclusion, death doulas are a wonderful resource. In my opinion, everybody needs a death doula at the end of their life. Most of us just don't have the knowledge to support family members at the end of life anymore. It was different when people were dying at home where we could get familiar with the process where it felt less foreign, so it felt less terrifying. But because in the society we've so far removed ourselves from those experiences, it is so helpful to have someone who's not only comfortable in those situations, but has been in them enough times to offer you some knowledge, to anticipate your needs, to be able to tell you what to expect and offer you some comfort when the time comes. If you like me, like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want even more content, on the sunset stage of life subscribe to my sunset times newsletter it's free link is also in my link tree most people are really uncomfortable with the death stuff i want you to watch this next video where i talk about three reasons why we have to talk about death until next time my friend peace